Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian. Welcome to the video. Today I'm talking about Malacetic Ultra Ear Cleanser or Ear Flush. This stuff is awesome. Now on a regular basis, guys, I see a lot of bad ears in the veterinary hospital and I recommend this almost daily. Why do I like it so much? Because of the three components it has. It's antimicrobial, antifungal, and it reduces inflammation in the ear. For the doggy or the kitty that has chronic ear infections or has like really itchy ears and needs a little bit of help. This is something more than just like I have wax in my ears. We're trying to reduce inflammation, control bacteria, and also yeast. On the active ingredients, Malacetic Ultra has hydrocortisone, which is gonna decrease inflammation in the ear. So when you're flushing this ear out, if it's all red and erythematous and swollen, this flush will help reduce that. This will also help to calm the ear so it's not as itchy. Next is ketoconazole. Ketoconazole is an anti-yeast or anti-fungal medication. By using this flush, guys, we're gonna be soothing the ear, reducing inflammation, and killing yeast or fungus, which is really common in the ear. The antimicrobial aspect comes from the acetic acid base that we're having in this product. And that prevents, it's like, it's gonna make the environment not conducive to bacteria. Not only will this product flush and remove earwax and debris from the ear, but it's gonna be killing and controlling bacterial growth, killing and controlling fungal or yeast growth, and as well, it's gonna be soothing the ear as well. Something like this, guys, always talk to your veterinarian about how they want you to give it. Now, when you flush the dog's ear, this is not like a medicine where you put in a couple drops in. You do wanna gently fill the ear, and then massage it and then use like a cotton ball or a gauze or something to wipe the excess out. If you think your dog or your kitty does have an ear infection, of course you need to go see your veterinarian because in those cases you need an ear cytology to figure out if you have bacteria, yeast, or maybe you have mites in there. And as well guys, you need to figure out if you do need a true antibiotic, antifungal, what do you need in that ear to help it get better. It is a little more expensive because it isn't medicated ear flush, but the cool thing is if you're in a pinch and your dog or your kitty is uncomfortable, this medication is a great fix to help calm things down either between veterinary appointments, before them, or if you're just maintaining a dog or a kitty with chronic ear problems.